Hello golfers, this thing changed my game. I'm gonna tell you about it today in this video, how to tilt your shoulders. So golfers, I played golf since I was about eight years old and nobody ever taught me or told me about this amazing tip that I'm about to tell you. And it's called tilting your shoulders, okay? So when you tilt your shoulders, you stay inclined to the ground. You play golf with the ball at your feet. So what happens is that when you hit shots, most people turn their shoulders level. This is what plagued my game for years. It plagued my game because I would turn my shoulders level, my arms would bend, and my arms would come down really narrow to my body. So when I first went to Andy Plummer and Stack and Tilt, this was the first thing we worked on. And immediately, before and after pictures of where I was when I started versus when I was done with the lesson was insanely better. And so what I love to see with golfers is that most golfers never tilt enough. What they do is they turn their shoulders back and they turn their shoulders through. We're gonna talk about tilting. So the tilting is the left shoulder, left knee, left ear down to the ground. Okay, so when you do that, when you go left shoulder, left knee, left ear down to the ground, now you have some inclination to the ground here. So this is just the backswing part. So the backswing part is crucially important because obviously when you tilt your shoulders, you're gonna actually swing the club back in a much easier manner. So as I'm tilting my left shoulder down, the club's going up, you can see I have a little wrist hinge, I'm able to keep my arm straight, and I'm able to make a bigger turn by tilting. So tilting to me, is number one, and that's what you have to do to strike the ball more solid. So again, talking about tilt. Now, I talked about the backswing tilt already. So the left shoulder down for right-handed golfers in the backswing, crucially important. You can see I combine with a couple things here. I combine the left knee, left hip, left shoulder, left ear, left eye, all down to the ground in the backswing. All right, so once you have that trained, and this is something you can do that, that can help you immensely, just go slow. Train your backswing first. So as I go back, I'm training my backswing, left tilting, and you can see here as I've really kind of created a left shoulder down. So I've got the tilt with my shoulder, my hip, my knee and my left eye. You can also see as a bonus tip how my head's tilted in the backswing. So now talking about the downswing and the forward swing. So this is something that, that I, a lot of people, a lot of golfers get into trouble with because they're told to keep their head down. So as I go back through the ball, I've done a great job of left tilting in the backswing. Now I have to move the arms and club and right tilt in the downswing. So I've not only left tilted, but now I've right tilted in the downswing, but now my right shoulder's down, right side bend, and you can see how I'm inclined to the ground now. So as I go through, now my right eye is down to the ground, my right ear's down to the ground, my right shoulder's down to the ground, and this is gonna be something that you can rehearse when you're up north freezing and in your basement, rehearsing these swings, you wanna exaggerate. So it would be in the back swing, it'd be left shoulder down, left knee down, left hip down, left eye down, and on a down swing, you're gonna go right shoulder down, right hip down, right eye down, and you can see the tilting action of my body, and as I turn back through, all the way through to finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit one there. I'm gonna go ahead and move myself. And you know, one of the things too in the forward swing you can do as well, is as I go through the ball, I can make little back swings. I don't have to worry about the back swing as I'm now working on the forward motion. So as I work on the forward motion, you can see I'm inclined to the ground. My, left, my right shoulder's down to the ground. My right hip is uh, tilted over. My right ear, my right eye. So as I hit this shot now, I'm gonna think about forward motion. So that's something that I know can help your game. So think about that as a way through. Right shoulder down, right ear down, right eye down. And you can see as I move through the ball, that's keeping the inclination of the ground so you can hit it more solid. 
So this is an angle 45 degrees to the target line and to the golfer. I wanted to change this angle and show this to you because this never happens. On TV, you only get either a face on view or a down the line view, but really the 45 degree angle can show you how the tilting really affects your game. And so as I do that, as I go back, I'm gonna go back in the backswing, left shoulder down, left ear down, left eye down as I go back. You can see the difference here from people turning to people tilting their body. Again, this changed my game immensely. So you can see this as I go super slow motion in the back swing here. And as I come down all the way through, and you can see my right tilt, right side bend, right ear down, right eye down. So at the 45 degree angle, you can really begin to appreciate the tilt. And if you watch, when you watch the PGA Tour or LPGA Tour, you'll start to understand the tilting motion, which gives you a lot of power. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit one here. So I really can't hit the ball any more pure than that. And all I thought about was the tilting. I didn't think about anything else. I worked on the tilt. What's so crucially important as well, when you practice, go slow. Do things slow. Don't try to do everything at full speed. Like you saw when I rehearsed that, I went really slow. You should be doing super slow motions, at least five or 10 of them, then hit one ball. Then go a little faster and hit one ball. But keep practicing that way. I know that's gonna make you better. So thank you so much for watching. The number one thing that changed my game was learning how to tilt my shoulders correctly in the backswing and downswing. I know it can help you. So if you really like this video, I love, love bringing you tips. I've been teaching this game for over 20 years. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment and share this video out with your friends. Mm -hmm.